tonight, you can't chase the thoughts of that poor girl you killed from your head. You wonder what she looked like as she died. Squirming, skewered in abject agony. You would have given anything to have seen it. As you jolt awake, too many questions plague you. When the proud deed of her death was yours, why do you have no recollection of it? Milady, <gasps> jubilant day! I have found your vile self at last! Scleritas fell! Your loyal and ever-adoring butler. I followed you, my dear rotted master. We have been parted so tragically long. <laughs> oh! I had heard of milady's indisposition, but I had hoped the rumors were untrue. No matter! We will get you back to committing five villainous acts before breakfast in no time. I found you following the stench of that bard. <sighs> she reeked across the coast like a piece of Dog mark on the road. Ah, it seems you've become quite the exhibitionist without me. I can only congratulate you on your indecency. Anyways, I come once again bearing a part of your dreadful inheritance. You earned this iniquitous prize through your great show of exceptional violence the other night. I'm sure Master will be better soon. A fellow of your fine breeding is never down for long. <laughs> I cannot wait until your next act of shameless barbarity. Oh, my sanguine master, your next work will be wonderful. It will be hard to improve upon what you have already done. I am a great admirer of what you did to the bard's left carotid artery. But I am certain inspiration will strike. Be true to yourself, my lady.